week. Oh, one week until surgery. Officially one week later from surgery. I'm so One week until surgery. It is January 18th. It's the end of the day, but today marks seven days until I get my breast reduction surgery. I am so obscenely excited. Just thinking about waking up after surgery and it being done is everything. I get like kind of emotional thinking about that moment. These are gonna start getting longer as I get closer because I'm gonna get more excited. All right, that'll be it for now, till tomorrow. Day six, no, six days until surgery day. I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Oh, today was when I went to Fairview and got my, the, the post-op bra that I'm gonna wear, which, toss it over. Woo, zips in the front. So I don't have to pull something over my head because I won't be able to lift my arms up and it won't slide down on the and move the dressings, which is very, very, very important. I have to go get soap still and uh, extra gauze in case of bleeding. I need to go get baby wipes. Tomorrow I have my last physio appointment until surgery. Today was my doctor's appointment. So yeah. Day six, or six days. I always say that, but it's not a count up, it's a count down. Four days left until surgery. Uh, I forgot to vlog last night before bed, but it was a good day. I had my last physio appointment before surgery, so now it's just a matter of killing time until Monday for the blood test. Okay. Today I realized that I don't actually believe it's happening. Like, I know it is, but like a trip you get excited for, but you know it's happening. But this, it's, it's so strange to think it's actually happening. Because it's been so long that I've wanted it to, but it wasn't, but now it actually is. It's very crazy. Nuts! Nuts, I tell you, nuts! Now I look like a dwarf from Snow White. Alright, that's it for today's vloggy vlog. So, it is 7.05 a.m. morning of the day before surgery. Yesterday I got my blood test done. I have a little bruise now. And it went really well. We showed up early and I was out by the time my actual appointment was. It was that fast. I got a kit with um, oh, face. Put some stuff in it that I need to fill out and do and get ready. I made lists, like a hospital kit list. I made a to do list. I made a to-do list for today of what I need to get done before surgery tomorrow. I got a horrible night's sleep last night because I was thinking and stuff, so I was up every couple hours or so. I'm building an IKEA thing to try and pass some time. 7.07 .07 a.m. now. 24 hours from now, I will be mid-surgery. Hopefully. Hello. This is going to be the last vlog uh, before our surgery day. <laughs> It is 9.57 p.m. on January 24th, 2017. See? I took my first hospital prescribed shower with their special sponge that makes me super, super clean, so I'll never be cleaner than I am right now until tomorrow morning when I take another one before going to the hospital. But neck to toes, there's like a little blue thing in the sponge pack that uh, you clean under your nails with you uh there's there's a side of the sponge that's like soft and another side that's has little bristles so you can scrub like i'm so clean i'm also really dry because i can't put any moisturizer on or anything and that means that i'm normally a dehydrated human so now it's just bonkers feelings the night before i am so excited. I've been receiving messages from my family and friends today saying, like, well, thinking of you tomorrow, uh, good luck, I hope everything goes well, speedy recovery, and I feel so supported and loved and everything. So excited to, as my best friend put it, to meet everybody in the version of me that I have always seen in my head and have always wanted to be. Remember this, Kelly.
in your future. You're 22. You're fortunate enough to be able to have this, to be able to go through this, to be happy in your body, to be happy as who you are. This is a big deal. It's really important. You won't have to get up and fight with your binder. You won't have to get up and fight to see what you're going to wear. Oh my god. Until tomorrow. Until surgery day. Okay. That's it. Good night. with my legs, my arms. Oh yeah. I was like crucified. Bye. So I'm home again. Post-op. Yay. I'm very drugged up. It is 8.38 p.m. and I probably went in about, actually I probably went in about 12 hours ago. I stayed in the like recovery area for a little longer than they anticipated because I was reacting strongly to the anti-pain meds that they gave me. The pain is, as I've described it, kind of like what I would imagine having bruised ribs would be like. Sometimes it's hard, like it hits you more than other times. Uh, I had my IV in my hand, um, and now it's kind of hurts and it's a little bruised. But hey, that compared to this is nothing. But yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna go rest up now and check in another day. Love you guys! It's time to take it all over. Hello! Officially one week later from surgery. It is Wednesday, February 1st, and I got my bandages removed yesterday, so see, like, there's no more, there's no more sticky stuff up here, and the tapes and gauze are all gone. Um, I still have to wear a, like, a sports bra to just kind of hold everything in place a little bit, because it's still, stitches are still there with the tapes on it, so I gotta, gotta be careful. But I'm allowed to start moving regularly. I feel amazing. Um, this is kind of a synopsis for what happened over the week. Uh, there was pain. I was on a medication that wasn't super, super strong, but still pretty strong and had very warning signs for addiction. People get addicted to them fast. I was off those medications by day two. Um, no, by day three. I went from one pill of those to half a pill and a Tylenol and then just two Tylenols and I kept going through there for a few days until recently where I started just doing one Tylenol when I needed. Now it's just kind of sensitive because everything is super bruised. <laughs> Looks gross, but I'm, I'm just excited. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Itchiness was another thing I dealt with later on in the healing process before my bandages were removed. <laughs> so when this got itchy, I couldn't scratch it. I couldn't get to it. So like, you know how if something itchy, you kind of scratch next to it, it feels similar and it's kind of a sense of relief. The bandage was so far up and down to make sure everything was super protected that I couldn't get close to it. And I'd just lie in bed at night, not sleeping and feeling itchy. It was awful. I know that some people when they get plastic surgery are, they're not ashamed, but they're not going to mention it. They want it to be something that just like, it's if it can be invisible, it's invisible and I'm never gonna mention it again. Like my parents obviously and my therapist had asked me, what am I gonna think of scarring? Am I scared? Like you're gonna have big scars, Kelly. And I'm like, I'm gonna wear these scars proudly because it means that I've overcome a part of my life that was difficult and I've made it through. I'm just, this is, this is something that meant so much to me that I'm not going to, I'm not going to not talk about it. It's still swollen and a big thing that I was worried about was if they could only take off a certain amount where I was still going to be dysphoric about the size that I ended up with. But I am happy with what I have now and it's just going to get a little bit smaller because when the swelling comes down, the bruising stops, all of that, it's just going to kind of tighten up and, and right now, still, still my left my left boob is a little more swollen than the right, so when I'm wearing these things, it's like lopsided and weird, but 
I don't care because I'm so flipping happy. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure and being there to support me and and wish me luck through this entire uh, endeavor. I made a video explaining why I got this surgery, so if this is your first video you see, go check out my last one. It's called I Am Gender, Hear Me Roar. If you haven't subscribed, like the video and share these with people that, that you think might need this kind of uh, reassurance that they're going to be doing something big like this or that if they're not sure and to hear some thoughts from somebody that has gone through it. Love you guys and until next time. See ya!